A sinking fund proposal by the North Central Area School District aims to levy three mills over a four-year period with the purpose of replacing two school roofs, updating heating systems, and replacing aging buses. The proposal will be put before the voters November 5th. If it passes, it is expected to raise more than $350,000 in the first year of the levy. Right now, our highest priority is our roofs. Um, our buildings are between 50 and 80 years old, uh, so they are in desperate need of some attention. Um, we have you know, spots at both buildings uh, when we get significant rainfall that there's leaks. Um, so we have buckets and things catching water throughout our buildings. Um, and it's not really an environment that we want our students to be a part of. We're, we're striving for a safe environment for our students to learn. Um, so there's definitely a need for us to address our roofs. Uh, and we have a heating system that is severely out of date. Uh, in the winter, it's kind of feast or famine. Either we have classrooms that are 85 degrees or we have um, classrooms where students and teachers have jackets on because it's so cold. And I would say that uh, that is the most <laughs> Uh, frequent conversation that I have with students throughout the course of the winter is that they're cold or they're too hot and uh, their heater in their classroom is broke. In the winter time here at North Central, we have a very hard problem of staying warm. Uh, the sinking fund would obviously help the critical coldness in the classrooms and being cold in classrooms kind of takes away your attention to your teachers, uh, to your, your work that you're working on. So it's very important to have heat in the buildings to stay focused on what you need to do. The district is facing declining enrollment and its funding is directly related to enrollment numbers. Over its four year period, the sinking fund proposal is estimated to produce over a million dollars for the district. The average age of our, our buses is about 14 years old and I would say that um, the average miles that they currently have on them are in excess of 160,000. Um, our school district spans 271 square miles and our average bus route is about 70 miles per day. Um, so there's a lot of maintenance and wear and tear on our um, buses on a daily and yearly basis. Uh, just last year we spent over $60,000 on repairs for our current bus fleet. First day of school this year um, we had a bus breakdown um, and we had to uh, send another bus out to um, pick up our drivers so they could start their route. Um, that's kind of just the things that we're dealing with and when we have old, old vehicles, um, old buses, that's kind of what you come to expect. The school district has created a website with more information about the sinking fund proposal. You can find a link on our article at myupnow.com.